Okay, this is for cancer. This is a general reading, may not resonate. This is for August. We're doing a lion's gate. See what's there for the last quarter of the year. There's some kind of soul mission that you are supposed to step into. Lots of like fighting or something over the past two years and you won't let go. Um, they've given you two years to come to terms with this waking up and you're stuck in your fantasy. You're supposed to be leading the way for humanity, raising your vibration of love. And that's what's nice about being in the future. You get to be with the person that you love. You don't have to be stuck in entanglement. It's not going to change. It's not you. You, you proved yourself by working, working to death. fathering, mothering yourself to death, being a mother or father. You made it all the way up to Mount Olympus, but then when you were confronted with God over all your conflict, you don't want to change. So you get thrown back down, basically, is what you're feeling. Because it's, it's never going to change, and it's not you. This is all about an image. Your imagery, how you perceive yourself to other people. Not who you are, proving yourself of who you are, but your image, how you look to other people. This is what this is about. This is definitely what your spouse's energy is over, your image. So if that's what you care about, you will not complete your mission and you will be what's known as a collective conscious. Taking pictures, you looking the same in every single picture, same smile, same this, same that, the same pose. So when you die, you do not go into your new um, life purpose. You don't, you don't do your life purpose. You, you just get stuck in like this, um, cause you're still, you still have a soul and stuff, but your soul doesn't have a purpose. So it won't be reincarnated. You would get stuck in a collective conscious of just, just this, like entrapment of a memory looking at pictures until they need you again, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So. Um, do not listen to this message. Until you're by yourself, don't listen in a car with your family. Don't listen on your lunch break. Um, Go by yourself and listen to it. I try to keep messages around 20 minutes. So, um, which is like a trip in the car to the store or picking up a kid or something like that. You know. Cash up's open for gratitude. My website is still being designed, but you can verify me on my website. All the messages will be posted on my blog, shamrocktarot.com. Not doing personal readings right now. Well, they start at like $350, but I'm not taking them right now. So. Please try and be quiet. Your thoughts can't come through because you're too worried about pleasing everybody else. You have definitely been enlightened. But you're holding back what you're supposed to do, this mission that you have. I mean, it's clear as day right here, the hangman and the four of pentacles. You have been crowned. I guess you have another dream too about you being crowned. You are one of Apollo's sons. That makes you a demigod. I don't know what message I posted it. 
but I did state that the heavens were, you know, crying or whatever because all of Apollo's sons have failed. So, like I said, we're all the way in the future. We are crowning demigods now. That means that Apollo was a demigod. His mother was human. His father was a god. You are a son of that, which makes you a, like a demi-demigod. You're almost human. So, because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You know, royal boys and girls, <clears throat> royal... Prince and princesses do what they're told, not what they want. You have proved yourself as a human. Now you have a divine mission. This is the Prince of Wands. That's the King of Wands. You've been crowned and you're holding back. You're fighting it off. No, nothing's ever what it seems, especially when you wake up. The devil, that is your ego. You are fighting your ego. Unless you're dealing with a Capricorn, which I don't think so. Lovers, yes, you're blocking, your ego is blocking this divine love, this crown divine union of love. Your ego is blocking it because you're so worried about all your, what you um, invested, your investments with this other person. You think that that's love. You think that this human marriage is love because you have investments with them. And you want to walk away. Yes, yeah, all this work that you put in with them. And you're disappointed because there's no happiness in it. That's a lesson, you know. That's what happens. Now you're disappointed. And you're worried. You are pra practically crying inside. Yeah, you're heartbroken because this fantasy that you're in. God let you fulfill this fantasy, this high school sweetheart that you wanted to prove yourself to. I guess they, they cheated on you twice already and something about one of the kids might not be yours too. This was all over envy. That's ego. When you two split up. And then you put all your, you know, heart and soul and passion passion is not love into this to prove her to come back to you or something i don't know it's so so long ago yeah it was all over sex something about sex and passion and now judgment's here because it's time to change you need an adjustment on your life and your soul and your purpose because there's too much fighting it's never going to stop the fighting is never going to stop it doesn't matter how much counseling you do if they don't change there will not be peace restored so it's time to move forward so your happiness can come in you need to start manifesting the stuff that you want not stuff that's over you can't bring back the dead it's dead it's over you need to take your love away from all this ruin and betrayal because there's someone waiting to message you message you back you need to message them so that they can mes message you back and you you both are going to have a tower over this because you two are marrying each other your soulmate and you're stuck juggling because you don't want to change Hey, well, that was a lot to get out. Yeah, that's a lot of anxiety you have there. That's that holding on to basically a black hole of nothingness. I can't even guarantee you that all this collective conscience would carry on into your, you know, your death. It's, it's a fantasy. You've woken up into a fantasy. Getting tendonitis in your arms from working, huh? Yeah, that's a lot just to put on a show for strangers.
But I was so happy when my kids finally quit. Because tendonitis runs my family and our feet. And my son did football since he was like three or four. <clears throat> and he, he had to quit because um, of tendonitis. And then my daughter, too, she did professional ballet. Um, and she was like three or four. And by the time she got her pointer, she, she had to quit because of her tendonitis. Not that I don't mind sitting there and reading. I'm not into sports. In ballet, you can't watch them. It's private because it's a private school. But, you know, I read and stuff. I did a lot of reading. But I don't like being around people, so. I'm like one of those moms. <laughs> I show up at a game like right when it's starting. Uh, you're like, did you volunteer? I'm like, oh yeah, of course I did. You don't remember? I made all the cookies. <laughs> oh my God. You know, them soccer moms, they don't have a brain. They don't remember anything because they have so many freaking kids. All they care about is what they're wearing and what they look like. Anyways. All my, oh, I was so thankful when I found out like how, not like horrible baseball is, but like sitting there, oh my gosh, at least football's in the fall. Yeah, because I have really bad allergies and uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I couldn't and I couldn't sit out in the sun like that all day. I don't know how those people do that. Oh my gosh. Anyways. What are we doing here? Past, present, future, please. Past, present, future. Chariot, that's you, Cancer. So, you're juggling. You're juggling change and talking to somebody. All you have to do is talk to them. You need some kind of outlet out of your group. You are so consumed and consumed is not even the word i'm looking for you are so engulfed it's like your circle is like this big tornado and you're the one down at the bottom holding it together and it's like they are sucking the living life out of you your family and your friends your kids your parents everybody everybody's life is sucking the living life out of you and nobody is putting you first like I said, you're not the one that's supposed to change. You need to change your situation. You need to turn around and face the truth and message somebody. There's some kind of fast message and movement that's supposed to happen, but you're stuck in your material world. And if you don't do this change, a chariot, that energy is someone, see, he's not crowned. A chariot is somebody, you're a warrior. So even if you come in the next life, you would be a fighter for God in wars. But you're not a crowned prince. You, you're not going to get your crown. They'll take it from you. They will throw you from grace. This car simplifies either triumph or defeat when it's upright. And that is your energy. You are a cancer. This is the Cancerian card. And that's what you're juggling over because you're feeling that. And if you fall, that tornado, you know, it's like an eruption of volcano or it's going to be mass destruction because the things that you're trying to prove yourself to your audience God doesn't care about any of that. You already proved all that. And you're going to be suffering like the rest of us. I know child support's a lot. I paid $88,000 because both my kids wanted to go live with their dad in child support already. And I'm not even done. I, my daughter still got another, you know, 
Um, but that's the reality of it. I tell my kids all the time, you know, um, king and queens, you know, it, consider yourself lucky. I, I t tallied up the hours that they see me. You know, Prince Charles saw his mother one hour a day. That's seven hours a week. So what are what are you trying to prove to yourself? This is your life. You're putting on a show for an audience for what? What are you what are you doing? Why are you exhausting yourself and killing yourself like this? And this is fast communication of the truth being delivered to you about your finances. I mean, all it takes is one injury. I mean, if a pandemic, a superbug is not enough for you to stop and see the reality of what you're doing, there are other mass destructions that are going to happen. You are fighting the truth. You're fighting the wrong war. And that is why you are heavily... There is something internally going on with you that's blocking this communication with this person that you know you're supposed to be talking to. You are so sad and worried about something. What are they worried about? Your wish wish fulfillment? Do you oh what is this wish fulfillment? Well, you need to go and spend some time alone. I think I already told you that in your last message. You need to spend some time alone with no cell phone and go inside yourself and figure out what this wish fulfillment is that you want. You're so worried and crying over this fantasy that you awaken in. You're living, awaken and living in a fantasy. And... Something about the crown, like we talked about, your wish fulfillment was to be something about passion and love. Well, I mean, if you were looking for a one night stand with somebody, I mean, that's not going to happen. If you're a crown prince right now, a chance as a crown prince, you have an empress come into your life. I mean, those player days are over, buddy. The emperor, yeah. There, there's something hidden inside of you. I can't even, I can't look in the shadows. It's so far down. I, I'm not, I can't look into the shadows. I'm sorry. Something about a wish fulfillment. Something about your passion. It's hidden. Something that you asked for. It came into you, but it's not going to come in the way that you want it because you are in a fantasy. So if you ask for someone to talk to, you know, like a, not a one night stand, but someone to have an affair with, that's not going to happen because you're a crown prince. You have to do what's right. And now you're going to be tested on stuff like that. Just because you're talking to somebody, that's not having an affair. You're allowed to talk to whoever you want. And if you have to do that behind somebody's back because somebody is so childish and can't Except the fact that you're talking to somebody, an old friend, and that's on them. You need to stop carrying other people's, you know, ego problems and lessons. You are carrying their, her, the, your spouse's lessons that they're supposed to be internally doing. And whatever, for whatever reason, you weren't able to wake her up. So it's time to take a leap of faith. <clears throat> because, yep, you're stuck in an illusion. Here it is, a seven of cups. This is the illusion card. Fantasy, illusions. And you need to take a leap of faith towards your happiness. That's the sun card. That's what you need to be doing. I'm going to stop because I can't, I'm not going into the shadows without permission. I'm sorry. There's something internally that you need to figure out. Closing, please. Anything, brothers and sisters, Sirius, Lionsgate, Leo, 
anything for cancer. I got chills. Okay, you need to <clears throat> make an offer to somebody that you're supposed to be talking to. You are supposed to get this done right now. You have until the end of summer <clears throat> to do it so that there could be movement by um, the fall time. You will, you're, you'll be crowned king, king of wands instead of the prince of wands. But you need to, you need to make the move. You need to get out of your head and take charge, take lead, and message this person. So ridiculous. Put yourself first, take lead. Yep, lead the way, what I say? You're stuck in the middle, two plus three is five. Third eye, there is a vision that you saw. You saw this. This is something you asked for and it came true. And it's right in front of you and you won't grab it. You need to get through that portal before it closes. Yep. Your soul, suck. Your soul is stuck right now because it's astral traveling. It's trying to get through the portal, but you're holding on to this catastrophe. It's going to turn into a catastrophe. I have no answers for your spouse. And she's a Virgo for some reason. Ease. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Energetic clearing. During crisis, the Holy One herself may emptying you of fears and attachments preparing you to receive her luminous plan trust allow me divine to give you you may you so weird all this is written you my deepest longings trusting you to know exactly how to handle them i don't know whoever wrote that deck did not have an editor. Oops. Who's this? Artistic expression. There's something that you've been wanting to do for yourself, but you haven't because you're so engulfed in everybody else. Paul might mean something to you, might not. Yeah, energy healing. Merlin, the magician. Sun energy. Anything else? That's it. Open your heart to love, Jesus. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye.